this episode of Railroads Online, we're going to talk about how to get to the final product in the game. Hashtag winning. Let's go ahead and get started. First place you're going to try to get to in the game is to get to the logging camp. You're going to need a, a flat car or more to get up there. And the more you have, the more logs you can haul at once. Once you're there, you're going to see the logging camp in the back right corner of the image here and pick up as many logs as you can. You need to run a minimum of 26 down to the sawmill. Once you've got your 26 logs, it's mostly downhill for you, so your main focus is going to be on the brakes. Now that you've gotten down to the sawmill with your first deliveries or multiple deliveries at this point, if you're trying to save some money, you'll drop everything off in the lake. They will process in the sawmill and turn into lumber and beams for you. So to carry those lumber and beams, you're going to need to pick up some tier two flat cars. In this case, I have quite a few on the screen for you because the lumber and beams are going to multiple destinations. Your main focus is going to be towards the iron mine first, but you're eventually going to need some to go to the coal mine. You're going to need at least five to go to the iron works, some to go to the oil field and the refinery. The problem is, is you're going to need to save up at least $850 a car for each hopper that you need to take up to the refinery as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to deliver any more product. You probably also want to save up for some type of engine like a Climax or something that can contain steep grades because... The Iron Mine. It's probably one of the most difficult destinations to get to in the game by far. It's up lots of steep grades, it's around lots of tight corners, and you're going to need all the support you can get. By the time you have an, a decent engine and a nice set of hopper cars, you're probably also going to want to pick up a caboose. That's going to help you hold the brakes on the way downhill. Yes, it's a long way downhill. You're trying to get to the smelter. And at the bottom of the valley is the smelter where you're going to find a place to drop off your iron ore and some of that cordwood you'd saved up earlier. It's going to produce some raw iron and some rails. This means you're also going to need some tier 3 cars, so you go purchase a couple tier 3 cars, run them up to the logging camp, fill them up with cordwood, and drag them all the way down to the smelter so the ore can start processing. You're also going to eventually want to pick up 5 additional tier 2 cars, that way you can haul the product out of the smelter. You're also going to want to pick up some hoppers so you can bring the coal down the mountain with you. In this case, you need about 10 hoppers to get going and maybe another engine at this point. Coal mine's quite a hike, so don't forget to grab everything as you go. That includes the beams, the rails, and the empty hopper cars on your way out there. The coal mine is one of my favorite, most scenic places in the map. You're over near some waterfalls, but however, it is quite a way off the beaten path, so you're going to plan a long train drive around the mountain or a long, slow climb up the hill and over. Coal's final destination is to reach the ironworks. There, it's going to take a little bit of lumber, some of your iron ore and all that coal you just brought down the mountain and turn it into steel pipes and tools. This means you're also going to need to purchase some additional cars. To haul the tools around you're going to need a box car and to haul the steel pipes you're going to need a tier one flat car. In fact you should probably pick up two because you're going to end up needing it. Luckily the oil field is right around the corner and pretty much level with the ironworks. So once you're here you're going to drop off some beams from earlier on that you had saved up. You're going to take those tools you just made and a couple of those steel pipes and deliver them there. In exchange, they're going to give you some crude oil, but you're also going to need to purchase some more cars. Tanker cars. You can't move oil without a tanker car. It would be kind of useless. So what we've tried to do here is take those steel pipes and the tools, fill up our tanker cars with crude oil, and you're also going to pick up those spare steel pipes that you dragged along with you. That way you can take all that up on your way to the final destination at the refinery. Luckily the refinery is not too far away. It is up on a little bit of a plateau up at a higher elevation so you do have some steep grades and that oil is not lightweight to get up there so make sure you have a good strong engine and hopefully you delivered some lumber there so you can process the final product. One barrel of oil so congratulations you're going to take that barrel of oil you're going to run it over to the freight depot Meanwhile, you're going to keep cleaning up your tracks, you're going to buy some more cars, you're going to get some better engines, and you're going to be a success at Railroads Online.